the big sister Nita. Her link is in description, my people. Um, this will also be on the podcast. She has a Twitter. She's got an IG. Go check the sister out. This is what she looks like on YouTube. Look at that banner. This is this is when you know you have arrived in YouTube when you got the, the, the catchy-ass cosmic banners and shit going on up in here. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this interview will start right now. I bring to my stage my homie who's been doing it on YouTube for quite some time now. Let me give her the Hollywood introduction. It is Nita the Diva. What's going on, Nita? Hey, what's going on, Lamont? Thank you so much for that welcome. That was a great welcome. Thank you so much. It, it is my pleasure. Um, you know, my friends have been telling me um, something that also hits home with what I just talked about with losing a friend, mm -hmm. that tomorrow's not promised to you. It's and if you got people that you care about in your inner circle, make sure they know that you care about them and you want to spend time with them and you want to have fun with them and enjoy life as best you can on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the reasons why I have you here doing this interview so that we can get to know you a little bit more intimately and just figure out what keeps you going throughout the day on YouTube. But before we do that, Nita, I got a sizzle reel for you guys to see Nita and see how Nita gets down when she's doing her review. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen, some of the things that brought me to her channel after we had already met. Take a look at this. And her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door. Ah! Bad things happen to people that don't comply. <laughs> okay. So first of all, you know, um, there has been this trend lately. Uh, Lena Waithe is a part of that with the whole um, Bonnie and Clyde thing or whatever about the police. Then we have them. Um, from Amazon Prime, and you know, it's just it's so, you know, it's just disturbing to me how they turn black trauma into fodder for the internet or for consumption. <laughs> Nita, what? Why did you have to go get the Michael Jackson traumatized monkey? What? What? what, what come on, man! What? Oh, God. I didn't know which one you was going to use for me, but I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> but, okay, but yeah, no, I love my gifts. I love my gifts. They kind of bring like, you know, what I'm thinking. Like when I'm, mm -hmm. when I'm watching that and I'm just reacting and you could just see this, like I'm dead. Like, you know, so I'm just like, revive me now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, just revived me. This was a mess. That mm. was a mess. And I do not recommend that movie at all. <laughs> no, no. Look at the look on her face, y'all. Like she's <laughs> <laughs> look, whenever y'all see a sister with the stank face and the eyebrows damn near touching, you don't want to go see that movie, okay? Don't go see that movie one bit. You can't so, get those two hours back. That's one of the ones you want your time back for what you do. Yes, definitely. So, Nita, tell people what was life like for you before you got into YouTube? For those people that are curious about the person behind the channel, what was you into or what were you doing in life before you decided to get into YouTube? Um, I had a pretty mundane life. I mean, I did some time as a realtor. Um, doing um the right before the bubble burst, mm -hmm. I did some time as a realtor, and then also too, I am studying to get my license again. Okay. But um, we're gonna get there. But during the time, like I've always watched YouTube, 
And I always was so shy and I was just like, you know, I worked in the government for almost most of my life. So I have like a career in the government and not going to say any names. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I do work in the government and I've been working there for 25 plus years. And, um, you know, I was married. I had a married life. I had children. Well, not children. Well, I, children. Yeah. I mean. I had my son and then my ex-husband had his children. So that's why I called mm-hmm. them my children. So, yes. So it's, I just been doing a mundane life and I was shy and it wasn't until I got divorced, I was able to find my voice, find out who I was, heal and do all of those things that I started to kind of venture. So my mm-hmm. first year of YouTube was kind of like just, I throw something out there, throw something out there. And I never really took it seriously. It was like it YouTube was one of those places for me where I would just throw up like my family stuff, the stuff that gotcha. you know I wanted mm-hmm. people to see, but I couldn't text it because it was too big. So right, right. So it was like one of those type things. But I will always watch YouTube. I will go to meet and greets. I love the commentary, the the film critics the um tv show reviews i would watch them all the time and then i was just like once i started getting into it and i will tell you i'm about to name drop somebody if y'all know me for a particular amount of time y'all know pay or wait sharonda williams is the person that really helped me launch because i was able to see someone that looked like me on the mm-hmm. screen, and I noticed that the white cr- the critics of no color was not kind of covering our stuff. And mm-hmm. I was watching and supporting them, and I was just like, they're not even watching the stuff that I'm watching. I'm like, I need to get in here. And so when I saw Sharonda, I was like, bam, I got it. I'm about to do it. I set up all the stuff and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, that's kind of like how I got into it. So that happened in my second year. And during my second year, that's when I got um, in touch with you. I was scared. I was scared. I told you I had, when I came up there on the first night, I was like, I got the bubble guts. I was like, I was so nervous. (laughs) (laughs) I feel so comfortable and so Mm -hmm. warm. And, you know, I was always in the chat and stuff like that. So I had a, you know, I had a, familiar reality with the community and mm-hmm. you know, the people that we have. And so, you know, it just like, I had to just do it one time. And once I did it, I was like, yes, okay. Whew, I can just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. So you got inspired to really put the pedal on the metal, due in part to Sharonda, which is a good thing because um, I will be having her in this interview series as well. A lot of people love her the same way they love you. And I enjoy seeing my my crew get together in that way in jail and inspire each other to keep their wings growing. And once you finally caught that bug and you got inspired to do it, um, what do you feel like was the keys to you staying successful and motivated and doing this on a day to day? Because, you know, YouTube is a grind. And in the beginning, you don't get paid. You don't get views. What has been the key to success and keeping you going? Actually, it's been you guys. It's been the Uh-oh. people that I collaborate with. I love mm-hmm. the community. I love you, Moochie, um, Miss K, like um, Tiffany from The Spot. I, mm-hmm. Willow, I love all of the people that I collaborate with. And Monique Nicole, baby, Monique has been a gem to me like she really Mm -hmm. like you know we definitely connected a lot and stuff like that and so yeah it's just kind of like just loving what you do because i know i've been discouraged because i haven't seen as much growth as fast as others because i know that my opinions can be very kind of they may rub you the wrong way and so Mm -hmm. you know I I get all that. And that's fine. That is fine. I'm okay with that. But there are times where I've been like, I'm just wasting my time. I'm wasting my time, my resources, and all of this stuff. But, 
you know, it took people like Monique, it took people like Moochie to keep me going. And I appreciate them so, so much. And just the community, like I thought about it. I was like, I can't, well, I have to talk to my people. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yeah. So quitting wasn't, wasn't an option after a, a certain mm -hmm. point. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I feel you on that. I think the thing with, now that you are a YouTuber, you, you, you get some of the innuendos we talk about when we say that you and someone of your counterpart that could possibly not be your race could be putting out the same content, the same thumbnails, the same SEO, but for whatever the damn reason, yes. you look up, you only gained a thousand subscribers in a year. You look up, they got 5,000 subscribers exactly. and you know, good and damn well, you more entertaining. And so that comes down to that barrier where you have got to be too, you've got to just keep hunkering down for when the door is going to flood open. You know, it's, it, it will. You just got to keep doing it. Keep collabing. Don't be afraid to collab with other YouTubers and you're going to make this thing pop. Yeah. yeah. And then there are now having said that there are a lot of YouTubers in this kind of film review, trending topic review space. So if I was a producer thinking about hiring you to be on my network, to run my show, what would you tell me is different about your channel from all the other channels, it, you know, besides you and those wonderful milkshakes you got that bring the boys to the yard? <laughs> What's different is that there is a variety of things. Uh -huh. um, I, you know, I know that they say that you need to kind of get into a niche, but I right. think that I can, you know, I think where I flourish is having a little bit of something for everybody, um, not just um, films, not just um, TV commentary, um, current events, hot topics, um, also to beauty. You, you see how I beat this face, the face be beat to the gods. You know, I'm a diva. So, you know, I could do the hair. I got the hair and the makeup. I can do the get mm -hmm. ready with me all of that stuff so i like to kind of you know i i kind of like to dibble and dabble um i've gone through a weight loss journey y'all if y'all see a picture of me at my highest weight you would not believe the person that you would see in that picture so i've i've had like so many different things that i kind of like just just dab my toes in and just the variety and the diversity in a channel. And so that's what I kind of like want to pride myself on. And maybe mm -hmm. I will niche down in another channel, but for right now, I'm just trying to see how things go. Ain't nothing wrong with, hey, hey, right on sister. Ain't nothing <laughs> wrong with that. So in the grand scheme of this brand you've put together, what are the long-term goals you have for your channel? Long-term goals. Okay, long-term mm -hmm. goals will probably be for me. I would definitely consider doing this on a full-time basis. Um, I don't see it happening anytime soon, but I don't want to really speak that over my, you know, over, <laughs> over the, the career or whatever, but, you know, right. just about a trajectory and how things have been panning out. You know, I, you know, the diva just, I don't know if I got to do something crazy <laughs> I don't know something to go viral. Like, I don't know what I have to do, but I'm going to keep on pushing and doing it because it definitely is a passion of mine. Um, like I said, I found my voice, you know, a lot of times I was a very, very shy, insecure woman. And I have grown into the woman that I am today. Very mm -hmm. vibrant, very, you know, just sure of myself and just, you know, just trying to embrace all of that. And I used to be one, I used to be the girl that didn't even want to hear herself talk on mm -hmm. the phone. You know how you listen to yourself on a voicemail and the right. sound that you hear is not the sound that you think you hear. Like right. I, whose voice is that? So, you know, I'm just embracing that I found myself and, you know, I'm just, I'm over that hurdle because a lot of times society kind of gets you in this little where you just don't feel good about yourself and I'm just mm -hmm. so glad that I just feel so much better about myself I've done the work, gone to therapy 
and just like trying to live life fully and vibrantly. Thank you so much, Khadija, for the super chat base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me read this super chat from the homie Khadija who says, thank you, Lamont, for hyping up our black creat creatives. You're the reason I love B, J, K, Nita, Moochie, Larry, Mo, etc. We appreciate that, Khadija, and you are the reason we all are here. When it's rainy days, and I don't care how big your damn channel is, there are rainy days, so don't let nobody fool y'all. It takes great individuals and subscribers such as Khadija, such as networking buddies and friends such as Nita the Diva, Monique, Jay, Larry, um, Sharonda, B. Avery, the whole crew, the hammer. They all help come together to get us through those rough days. Mm -hmm. And I'm honored to be in their presence and for them to allow me to start a new series to uplift up and coming YouTubers. Because at the very least, Nita just gave you a testament. If you don't make money on this thing, what it does, it gives you another skill that can prepare you for other great opportunities in life. It helps you build confidence. It allows you to get to love you talking to yourself, to an audience, and it helps you overcome one of America's number one fears, which is being an electionist. And for those of you that don't know what that means, public speaking. And Nita has just highlighted how she's done those things. And for that, I feel like I've done a great job in being someone that can be a rail for her to lean on as she's making this growth. And I want to do that for others as well. So if you've got a friend who's got a growing YouTube channel and you want to see them to get put on, just tell them to hit me up. I'm on IG. Tell them to hit up Nita too. She'll put them in touch with me and we'll make this thing happen. Absolutely. So Nita, what advice, speaking of up and coming YouTubers, okay. what advice would you give an up and coming YouTuber about getting into YouTube? My advice would be don't get discouraged. Mm. Um, mm. The, the, the thing is, and don't compare yourself to others. Your journey mm. is your journey. Um, your growth will come when the growth will come. You know, I just, and I've been, because of you, Lamont, mm. you taking my hand and pulled me up and I like to do that. And I, when I see smaller, my, my, my supporters in the comments and they have a YouTube channel, I like to pull them up to, I like to support mm -hmm. them because they have been so instrumental. Like I said, you got, you guys don't know that you guys are kind of like my, my community. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't know that, um, my family life is, in shambles so you know i went through a divorce and everything like that and you know i've had some troubles with um mother father sister bro everything you know what i'm saying so um it's like me and my son and we be going through because he's autistic so mm -hmm. you you guys y'all are my tribe so when y'all show up for me and y'all send me super chats and y'all send me cash apps and y'all support me and y'all just leave comments and likes like that's been my my work through that's been my support through these hard two years that i've had trying to rebuild myself and game that's why you know and going into 2023 my thing is consistency Mm. I have been so inconsistent and I think that might be a thing about the growth and I'm just going to be honest in my self-reflection but because I have so much going on at home and all of these things sometimes it's hard to be consistent so mm -hmm. um, yeah so that that's just what it is we going into 2023 with consistency I feel like I've done the work and I feel like we about to get it pumping and we about to get it grinding starting let's January. get it popping January. let's get it popping sis let's get this thing popping Dang. you got another super chat tonight coming okay. in from demarcus vine says what's good lamont and nita the diva Thank i you. love y'all's channels we love you right back we couldn't do this without you guys she just mentioned how you all have been a crutch for us when we feel bad which because keep in mind we are still human too yes. and there are days when you have family events, you have things that create barriers. Nita just told you a barrier 
that would probably keep some people from having the courage to even get it into YouTube, considering the dynamic with her son. I've worked with um, in the population before, and I know how tough that can be on a single parent. So, you know, I commend you, Nita, for having the guts, the moxie, the intestinal fortitude to even with that situation, even with everything you've been through, to still come up here on YouTube, look good, smell good. Hell, I can't smell you, but damn it, you look like you smell good, smile good, and give the kind of energy you give on a day-to-day -day basis. Enough cannot be said for those efforts, and you haven't gotten all the all the rewards that you're going to be getting coming up soon. So keep hanging in there, my sister. You're going to make it happen. Thank you so I much. Get you. I appreciate it. I, I'm so blessed to not look the way I be feeling sometimes. So I like <laughs> I try to put on that that smiley face and mm -hmm. I try to be bubbly and, and, and duke it out. But mm -hmm. shout out to me on the bad days. Sometimes I still mm -hmm. show up. I still exactly. show up. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a roller coaster for sure. Life be life. <laughs> you got that right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get her out of here and we're going to move on to follow up on this review of the Potomac Babes in oh. just a second. I've got two more questions for Nita. You've had time to progress in this YouTube thing. What would, what would Nita tell young Nita if she could go back in a time machine? What, was, what would Nita right now sitting here talking to me go tell the Nita that was on YouTube eight months in? What would you tell that sister? start earlier like i wish mm. i would have started earlier and but i just had so many barriers like around my like i said i was much 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 heavier i mm -hmm. I, I dare i say i might have been 75 pounds heavier than what i am mm. congratulations I'm a big 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 girl i mean congratulations it'll be but you know we we good we good over here. <laughs> you working? You working? You you were you working that thing now? Keep working it now. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, even me just saying that, you know, I dare not put the picture out. But I mean, if you know me, if you see me on social media, you probably see me a little heavy or whatever. But mm -hmm. I would say start earlier. Start right. earlier. Don't be afraid. Like I've seen so many people with huge, huge, huge followings. And three times my size. Don't wear a lick of makeup. Don't nothing like it's just nothing. So stop being scared and just do it. Because I mm -hmm. have been wanting to do it for a long, long time. Um, first of all, I didn't have a voice because I was so much of a, you know, kind of, you know, putting myself down and I was dimming my light and just trying to. You know, but once I started, you know, doing the work and stuff like that to become a better person, I really just like, I got something to say, too, because, you know, I just got something to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And, and, and we need to hear what you got to say. So we want to hear it. Tag on right. And so the last thing I'm going to put out there for Nita is something that everybody that is in the public eye, YouTube, whatever, is going to deal with. And that's trolls. So right now, I got to give you your graduation test, okay? <laughs> I'm going to play the role of three separate trolls. And after I'm, I'm going to pretend like you're reading this, it's just you're going to hear my voice. After I say what I want to say, I want you to reply how you would respond, if you would respond, or what you would say, okay? Are you ready for this play along? <laughs> okay, I'm okay. good. That's a good one. I like Get your grown man pants on. All right. So we're going to pretend like you just put out your trailer. I mean, your uh, movie review of Wakanda Forever. Okay. okay. And I remember you was kind of in. Eh, eh, it's okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Now, okay. I'm, I'm a Marvel fanboy troll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm about to leave you a comment. So, you know, I'm clicking, click, 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 click. This is what my comment says. Fuck your review. It was trash. You just hate movies that have great men leads. I don't even know what the hell you doing on YouTube. You ugly as fuck anyway. What is your reply? Nothing. 
<laughs> look, I'll say, look, no, last time I say thanks for the view. <laughs> let, let, ladies, and <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. That is a grown ass woman. Yes. Why waste your time? What's the point? Thanks for the there, there is no, she do better than me. I won't even do that. I, <laughs> I fuck what you think. I mean, yeah, I mean, if okay. they cuss at me, if they cuss at me, Lamar, I may not dignify at all. That was my first right. answer because you did say mm-hmm. But sometimes I might have time. I might have time to tongue tussle with somebody. I might say, thank That's you. That's true. Thank you for the clip. You know, thanks That's for the view. I appreciate it. That's <laughs> true. Uh, and... and I swear I can go I can go toe to toe verbally with the best of them, and I've had to learn even when you do got time. There's probably something you can so be spending better. more time doing. Exactly. So here I am now. I'm going to play the role of another criticism. Okay, okay here I am typing. Same. <laughs> I thought your review was pretty good, but I do disagree on your take on Shuri becoming the panther i felt like she did a good job so i disagree with you on that and i think you was a little harsh on her role but overall i think your review is pretty good what would you say to that i normally say thank you so much for commenting and i appreciate your perspective i i just be like that is fine i respect people's points of views you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. i used to try to go back and forth but i found that there was no reason to Mm -hmm. there's no reason because you're not going sometimes you could you could change a reasonable person somebody that has an open mind but Mm -hmm. you know some people who are if you he talked respectfully respectfully Mm -hmm. so i I would go back and i'm like i appreciate that i understand Mm -hmm. i say maybe sometimes i say maybe i'm gonna watch it one more time and see if i can get a different perspective Sometimes I say that, but other than that, I'm like, I'm okay to disagree. I'm yeah, so well, okay with that. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the kind of gems you've <laughs> got to have when you first get into YouTube. So then I just played the role of someone who's probably her subscriber that might not comment much, that respects and likes Nita, but just disagrees with a specific point, And Nita handled that just like a professional. She gave them a response back, said, we can agree to disagree, and even says, I might go back and see if I can find a perspective you're looking at. I I couldn't have said it better myself. (laughs) Last, but definitely not the least of the type of comments you might see. Okay. You ready for this one, Nita? Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let me keyboard click. I told you I've been in therapy. I don't let people bother. Here we go. This is it. It says, damn, girl, you fine. I love them titties. Can I get your number? Can I email you, girl? You you got a man? <laughs> I say no, but you can come see me on Lamar's channel with the milkshake, with the girls bringing the milkshake <laughs> on Monday night. <laughs> Use the big brother as cover, okay? <laughs> no. But you can come on over to Lamar's channel and check out the milkshakes on Monday night. <laughs> and you're supposed to throw in there. You can send a big super chat, too. Uh, hello. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what? Mm. Listen, mm-hmm. I might have found a moneymaker right there. <laughs> exactly. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And and like, fresh up on super chat, and I was shaking those tears. Come on, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> Coming through is the big home of relax and chill TV with the 999 super chat. Congrats, <laughs> Nita, for all your success. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude the interview portion of this video. Her link is in description. This is what her channel looks like. These are the hot thumbnails and emotions she portrays with her face. And sometimes she get a little nasty with her thumbnails, okay? You know, we know that's not a tongue. We know what that's supposed to be. And look at where her finger is at. So if you want to be constantly entertained by a sister, please check her out. Um, you can always find us on the Life Games podcast. You can also check me out on IG, Instagram. If you are a small YouTuber and you want to get put on, hit me up. 